Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Elsa. If you've never seen my face before, I am a dancer and performer in New York City. I grew up between New York and Glasgow, hence the weird accent. Please do not mind this fake tan disaster on my face. We are going to cover it. I, uh, that's a long story. Just don't mind the fake tan disaster. I put tan on top of tan without exfoliating my face just because I needed a little bit of color in there quickly it did this it's cute whatever um if you want to see more of my face please follow me on TikTok where I post literally like five times a day I am pretty much addicted to TikTok at this point and then follow me on Instagram as well those I'll both pop those here one is Alien Agent Dancer that is Instagram one is Elsa Agent 96 that is TikTok without any further ado let's get into today's video which is going to be get ready with me show day we have a show day this is all the makeup that's gonna go on my face. Oop, a brush escaped. And then we're gonna do my eyes. I am not gonna do the rhinestones. I'm gonna do those when I get to the theater. So we're just gonna do like a colorful, bright makeup moment. I mean, I might change my mind. Who knows? But anyway, let's get into the video. <laughs> First things first, I actually start with foundation, which I feel like a lot of people don't do, but I do. So first we're going to spray the Mario, I don't know how to say that word, the cleansing spray on my face. And we spray a lot on there. Did you see that? A lot. And I need to find my brush. Brushy brush, where is my brushy brush? I have so many brushes, you guys. Like, it's literally a disgusting amount. Oh, my brushy brush is the one that flew out. Ew, it's nasty. So I take the Fit Me Foundation in shade 115. And this is not regular makeup, guys. This is like theater makeup, like what you wear to go on the stage. Actually, before we do anything, we are going to pop my cute little Princess Jasmine like thing to keep makeup out of my hair. I don't know what this is called. I'm pretty sure Rebecca got me in Primark. So, we'll see. Um, it did just have like the gem in there, but my grandma put it through the wash because it was like nasty. And I was obviously I asked her to. And um, it just destroyed it. So we put a healthy dollop of foundation on my beauty blender. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that looks about enough. And then we go... We literally just dot it across my cheeks, my nose, my forehead, and my chin. We then take this brush, which I probably had for like five years, and it probably definitely needs to get a new one. We then just start by wiping this across my whole face. And yeah, so basically the makeup look we're going to do today is, hang on, the makeup look that we are going to be doing today is a Jojo Siwa inspired look from her tour. I saw it on TikTok um, when I was looking for transitions because I thought Jojo might have a lot of like really, really fun and cute transitions because she was on tour the beginning of this year. So I thought to look on hers. And I saw this like really cute euphoria inspired like eye makeup glam with like a rainbow and everything like that. So I decided that that is what I'm going to try and do today. So the show that I'm currently in is Pippin. Um, if you guys don't know what Pippin is, I didn't. Hang on. So yeah, if you guys don't know what Pippin is, it is a show about this young man and his name is obviously Pippin and he lives in a magical kind of land um, and he just graduates from college he goes back home to see his dad and his dad is the king um, and his dad is like hey now that you're an adult you've graduated to college what is it you want to do with your life and like a lot of recent college graduates myself included um, he didn't really know what he wanted to do with his life and he went on this adventure and he stumbled into essentially what can be looked at as the seven layers of damnation um, and it's just kind of his exploring through there. Um, it was rewritten in 1970 and 
the guy that wrote it added a circus theme. I don't know if that was for the Broadway revival. Might have been for the Broadway revival that the circus theme was added. Um, but there's now a circus theme. So our director has taken the circus theme and wants it to be like a magical space circus colourful. Um, basically just wants it to be super fun and bright and colourful. So that is the inspiration of the makeup look. So the foundation is on. And now we're going to take the Revolution Heartbreaker Concealer. I am not a makeup artist, by the way, guys. So this is just kind of how I've learned to do makeup by being a cheerleader. And we put a shit ton in there. That's the accurate measurement as well, guys. Shit ton. And then we do the sides. Just like a lot around that area. We repeat on the other eye. Yep. And then I put some on the tip of my nose. So just like here and then up the bridge of my nose and then just the excess of my forehead. Today, because of the fake tan disaster, we're going to pop some here, just kind of where those patches of self tanner are. We're going to match it on the other side just in case. We look a little bit off center and then obviously I put a little on my lip on like the cupid's bow area. Pretty much I put it where makeup would naturally stick. Now we're just gonna blend that out. So yeah, I'm not a makeup artist. I just really like makeup. I grew up a competitive dancer and competitive cheerleader. And then I did theater as well during high school. So I pretty much just learned how to do makeup for like competitions or shows. I probably couldn't do like makeup to just like, you know, go out to a bar or something like that um but i quite like experimenting with makeup and i love jojo so we kind of like to see kind of the different looks that i can do i'm really excited about tonight's show though because my grandparents are coming and my big sister is coming and i think it is the first time post covid since they have seen me dance which will be so incredibly fun. What are we looking for? The next step is eyebrows, if I can find my eyebrow gel. So the eyebrow gel we use, oop. The eyebrow gel we use is the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow gel. I'm wearing this little Calvin Klein top um, just because I don't want to get makeup on everything and then we'll get dressed at the end of this video. I'll show you my outfit and we'll pick an outfit together, I think, guys. Kind of have a rough idea what I want to wear, but I'm not 100% sure. It is like 75 degrees outside, so we are thinking something very summery, something very cute. Um, so yeah, it's going to be really, really fun. So I just kind of brush my brows up like that, and then I'll let that dry. Well, set is set the word that you makeup people use. And then the next thing we're going to use is the Obsessions eyeshadow palette. It is entirely busted. Um, and we're going to use this one, this one, and this one, and then this one. So we're going to use this kind of half of the palette. And we take a nice big fluffy makeup brush. We go into this colour here. And then we get a lot in there. We go up here. Don't worry, I'll blend it out. Up here. And then we do across the top, just like so, kind of just covering everything. And then my jawline. And then I'm going to go back through and blend it all out. I'm just using the same colour. So we're going to start with the neck. I used to blend it all the way down. My first costume is like a high neck choker corset thing. So you don't really see my chest, but I like to have it blended out all the way down down because in one of the scenes it's like a orgy drug and field party thing um where Pippin's exploring his like sexuality and stuff like that I have a dance solo and I wear just a leotard so my leotard's cut like this top so we like to have the foundation and everything covered in all the the fake tan disasters well they're not really disasters it's just more 
I'm lazy and I put tan on super, super quickly because I just want it on and out of my life. Because I don't like being pale. I am super, super pale because I am Scottish. So I really am incredibly pale. We're going to go in to that same colour again with, I think this is a Morphe brush. I really, I don't remember. Yeah, this is a Morphe brush and it's like a big fluffy brush. We're going into that colour again and then we just go down the side of my nose. Make a really dark, harsh line. Like so. And then we go on the other one. Make a really dark, harsh line. Uh, if, you've never, if you've not ever been under stage lights, you're probably not going to have a clue why I do my makeup this harsh. But basically, when you're under lights, imagine you turn all the lights out in a room apart from the flashlight on your cell phone. And then we just blend this out. And you're trying to see really close up on somebody's face. You're going to put that flashlight up real bright in somebody's face and it's going to wash them out. And they're going to look like a little ghosty. So, to counteract that, dancers put a lot of makeup on um, so that that doesn't happen on stage and so we don't scare the audience because they're paying lots of money to come see us. We uh, do not want to scare them, basically. Next thing is we take this like angled fluffy brush and this colour here. There's literally not much left of it. So we're going to mix it with this one here, tap off the excess. And that just goes on up high, kind of where if you were to get sunburn, kind of where you get burnt on your face, or at least where I get burnt on my face. I don't know about anybody else, but I am naturally a redhead, so I get really bad sunburn, and then I go across my nose. So I quite like looking not sunburnt as such, but I like looking like I have a little bit of color, it just kind of makes everything stand out more and more fun. Next thing we use is the NYX Brow Born to Glow Highlight Palette and we're going to use, oh I can't make this balance, we're going to use this pink. Um, we're going to use the matching NYX angled, what are these called? Don't know, anyone know? Somebody let me know. And we're going to put that again in the same place that we put the original blush. Doo -doo -doo. I don't really know why I do this step because when I get to work I put glitter on the sides of my face. So I'm not really sure why I do this step, but I don't know. Just feel like it gives the glitter something to like shine on. Like when you start sweating, like the glitter starts to come off a little. So just sort of gives my glitter something to to stick to. And yeah, I do my nose and I will go through this with a blender and make sure it's all blended out. I do my Cupid's bow so that it's super shiny. Then I do it under my lip. So just here, there we go, and then take the same fuzzy brush and we just blend out the nose and the forehead, I leave the cheeks unblended because we are popping glitter on those. Next thing we do is eyebrows. Eyebrows stress me out a lot guys, so we use this Revolution, Revolution ultra brow palette and again it's completely busted so we use the top two shades this one and this one and we fill in the brows so i'm gonna do my brows off camera because i don't want to fuck them up and then i'll come back when they're done so that is the eyebrows done next thing is we're gonna move on to face like not face eyes oh my god can english today so we take the same concealer we used for my face and we pop this on of our eyeballs. And you're gonna be like, Elsa, why is there so much concealer in your eyeballs? Well, you're about to find out. So we put this on my eyeballs. And then we take the beauty blender. And we use like the little side and we just blend this out. It's basically because I'm too cheap to buy eye like primer. And I need something for the colours to stick to. So we use this. And then we're going to use this eyeshadow palette. It's by Morphe. It's the 32B Artistry palette. I'm going to show you what it looks like inside. There we go. It looks like this inside and I freaking love it. So we're going to use the little colour she just fell out, guys. So can't really tell you what colours it is. 
Okay, we're gonna use, oh my goodness, I can't do this. We're gonna use Sunshine, which is this yellow. We're gonna use Watermelon. We're gonna use Puffs, which I think is like Cheetos. Like, honestly, I think that's what the color is. Then we're gonna use Bikini, which is this neon pink. And then we're going to use Purple-ish, which is this dark, deep purple. And then we're gonna use this blue, which is called Azure, as sheer at mad not gonna try to say that. Um, <laughs> this is why I'm a dancer, guys. I feel English at school. So we're gonna take this fluffy brush, this one, and we're going to put a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of yellow. Literally coat it so it's like this. Then we're gonna pop that on the inner corners of our eyes. So just. We don't want to like brush it. Do you know when you would put eyeshadow on, you would like brush like this. We want to like dab. So you want to like, it's almost as if you're like painting, I guess. And you want to make sure that you're not leaving any white spaces on like a piece of paper. It's kind of what we're doing. We want to bring it up into this crease. So up there, just like that. It's quite a lot of yellow. And then we do the same on the other eye, so we want it to mirror, so we're kind of making almost a sunset, but not quite. So the idea is that we're just going to do yellow, orange, red, pink, purple. Purple is going to be the outer corner colour. Then underneath the eye, we're going to do blue, which is that like weird word that I couldn't say, and pink. This is my literal favourite part of this whole makeup look, is the eyes. And I do change the eyes up sometimes, but it's summer day today and I was listening to Harry Styles at Coachella. Did anyone see Harry at Coachella? If you did, please literally send me all your videos. You will be my best friend for life. Please send me all of your Snapchats. Like, I need to know if you saw Harry at Coachella. One of my nails just broke because I was clapping my hands so, like, intensely. Um, These nails are, like, most of them are solid like most of them are like not coming off and then like the odd nail when you clap it just like snaps which isn't really a vibe so we're gonna have to fix this as well before we go to work but that is not the right now problem so the next color we're gonna go to is watermelon and we just coat that with color but yeah as i was saying if anybody saw harry at coachella can you please send me your videos because i uh, can't afford to go to Coachella, I have a job, but I really want to see Harry and I want to know how amazing he was. I have listened to A Man I Feel Like a Woman on repeat, Harry and Shania on YouTube, literally every day since the iconic duet happened. Like, oh, I'm in love with Harry. He was in love with him when he was in One Direction and then he left One Direction and I was like, oh, whatever, like, that's it, you know, like I wasn't really like bothered. And then when he came out with his new music, like his own music, I was like, oh, well, it's not like awful. Like he's just like trying to make money, blah, blah, blah. Like I really wasn't a Harry fan. And then literally Watermelon Sugar High came out and I was like, oh my God, Harry Styles. And I went back into my like 14 year old fangirl phase. So I'm currently just dipping into this color puffs. So yeah, I immediately jumped into my 14 year old like, fangirl obsession with Mr. Harry Styles and I do not regret decisions at all like I love Harry love 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 Harry so I'm just putting puffs over watermelon just to give it a little bit more spice so we kind of see the rainbow starting to take effect yeah we do this on the other eye and like the top doesn't actually need to be neat because we're gonna put rhinestones around the top to like highlight it. So it doesn't need to be neat. So just like that. That is like the orange is done. Now we move on to my favorite color, which is pink. And we're gonna change the brush to this little kind of angled brush. And we're gonna use the pink, it's called Bikini. It is hot pink. And I literally need this much, so. We go in and see her, she's beautiful. And we want to dab across the crease and pull her down. Yeah, so it's like a sunset. Sunsets are literally my favorite thing in the world. 
like my favorite like going to the beach watching the sunset it's literally like the best so that is the pink on this eye we do the pink on the other eye and then the last color is purple and the purple i'm gonna warn you now is gonna look really really harsh when you first put it on because you've got all of these like really light almost like baby colors to make this sunset happen so the purple is gonna look really really harsh because like i think that looks stunning like that little blend of colors my favorite thing in the world so then we take purplish which is this purple here and you add a lot and don't panic guys this is gonna look crazy we take this and we go to the outer corner kind of like where you would put wing liner and then in yeah so wing liner and in wing liner and in and that one i kind of brush just to give it a little zoom you know we do the same on the other eye i love my eye makeup it brings me life same on the other eye so wing liner and in yep and then we just bring it we give it some color like so so this is the top layer of eyeballs eyeballs and we're gonna use this like i don't know how to explain what this brush is but it's like a stabby stab brush is what i call it and we're gonna use that color that also can't see we're gonna put a lot on the brush so it looks like this and then we're gonna go from the outside in on the lower lash line so from the purple in yeah do you see the purple in we do the same on the other side so i find eye makeup easier to do like i do one thing on one eye and then i do the exact same thing on the other eye then i move on i can't just do one eye and then the other eye because it never ends up looking even remotely similar like it always ends up looking super crazy so then don't be me and wash your brushes on your sofa I actually like invest in some kind of makeup remover products i don't know what there is but when we're gonna go into bikini we're gonna coat the brush with bikini and then we are going to finish that lash line so i'm gonna go from the inside to the center like so yeah i might add a little more because that's kind of faint and then we'll go to the other eye so these are the eyes we love it's like a rainbow sunset vibe then we're going to put on rhinestones i need to find the correct eyelash glue so we use the dual hang on oop dual eyelash glue then i have a little baggie of rhinestones we take all the smaller rhinestones we're gonna have to like pick them all out so these smaller rhinestones and we're gonna set them all the way in and all the way in so i'm gonna do this on camera but i'm not gonna talk through it because i am really clumsy and probably will hurt myself i'm not gonna lie so you're gonna get a little cute time lapse moment of me doing these rhinestones oh no i put too much glue on that one so yeah it's just like a challenge of like how much glue i'll try and do the first one on camera for you but after that i don't really know if i can and then i pop it there then we're just gonna go all the way in and i'll show you when i'm doing it like i'll show you it but i'm sort of
is the rhinestones done so we have four on the top one in the center i love it literally i don't know what brings me alive we're now gonna pop on some eyelashes i have two pairs i think i'm gonna try the bottom pair on today and i don't put mascara on before i put lashes on which is kind of controversial apparently so i'm gonna try and do this here so y'all can see so i take my lash glue i line the like the little strip thing i guess i don't really know what it's called i don't even know how much of this you can see and then i make sure i let it go tacky so i'm just gonna sit that down so now it is tacky don't mind the blue we're gonna fix that we just pop her on to the eye and then we fight with it for 20 minutes I'll fix it but this is the gist I'm gonna do this off camera so that is the lashes on we're now gonna take the oh my goodness I keep dropping everything this angle is all kinds of funky that's better we're gonna take this fluffy brush and we're just gonna try and color correct this little area it's not gonna do it with just the brush we're just gonna add a little bit of concealer just on this area and it is fine because we are gonna put glitter on this once we get to work i actually want to walk through midtown manhattan with glitter on this area on my face obviously we're just trying to blend so it doesn't look too crazy from far away i think it looks okay to be honest um oh yeah that'll be absolutely fine yep you can still definitely see there's a little blue tinge but it is not awful so the next thing we're gonna do is move on to the lips which is the l'oreal paris i don't know it's like some purple cute lip gloss well it's lipstick it goes on gloss and dries matte lip And then this will dry nice and matte. So that is the makeup completed. And we're not going to work with hair like this. So I'll just take it out of my claw clip. The idea or the plan in theory is going to be we're going to part the hair, boom. We're going to braid, boom. We're going to space bun, boom. Now it's going to look cute. We're going to see how this goes. I'm going to find my brush and I'll be back. Like, I keep my hair brushes. I love it. So I'm just starting by brushing out all of the hair. It's super tangly. Um, it's not been washed in like a week, which is kind of nasty. Don't know why I'm telling the internet that, but hey. We brush all the hair back, and then we try and get a center part. And then I am going to secure off one side of my hair just so that i'm only working with one side at the moment yes it looks a bit crazy so first things first is we're going to braid this top section so i typically do dutch braids which are the underneath kind if you want a braiding tutorial let me know um i actually really really enjoy braiding so just as a quick little reminder you grab pieces of hair every time you cross your hair over so i'm just grabbing constantly and pulling really really tight remembering that you want the braid to be as neat as possible so i'm going to speed this up and then you're going to see it once it is fully braided <laughs> section of hair nice and braided I'm just gonna take a little hair tie 
and I'm going to add in a good chunk of just hair that has not been braided yet just so that we have something to work with when we put it into space bands so we secure this side of hair I try and wrap the hair tie around literally as many times as humanly possible because I do not want my hair to fall out when I'm dancing or my braid to come loose when I'm dancing or just kind of anything like that. And then I've just got this like a high ponytail situation here. And then I'm going to repeat on the other side so you're gonna see that all nice and sped up. I'm gonna put some music on whilst I do it, so. find all of my little bun pins bun pins are like you can only see my eyeballs but it's okay bun pins are just these little um i don't even know how to explain them they're like bobby pins but they're open like further than a bobby pin is like do you know when you would get a bobby pin and it would be completely closed so like bun pins are like i don't know i'm just gonna show you all some to be honest i feel like that might be easier um because i am horrible at explaining so this little guy is a bun pin so she's open at the bottom like that's kind of what it is and then we need to get my fun clippy clips out of the bag too so i've had a week off from shows which is why all my stuff's kind of like all over the place so just bear that in mind so then we take one ponytail we brush it out we split it in two and then we start to back comb and I start back combing from the bottom and so we want to make it huge and poofy just like so this is a nightmare to brush out afterwards but it's okay and then I do the other section so I get it go from the bottom all the way to the tippy top and then I go on the other side just to make sure I'm not missing any hair. So we have something like this, just kind of like a rat's nest and then I do the bottoms too. And then we twist the hair like we're making a regular button and we twist and we get one of these guys and then we pin as if you're giving yourself brain surgery because it hurts if you've never done this before with like bun pins it really hurts like my mom used to do it for me when i was little like literally used to cry competitions but so did all the other little kids so then we just keep wrapping that hair around until we get this kind of bun Ugh. does not get any easier i've been dancing since i was two and I'm 25 now and it really really hurts still and then we just go around the bun securing at the base with these little bun pins kind of making sure that it's nice and secure to your head that you can dance that you can shake your hair and it stays so that is one bun done I'm gonna do the other one off camera and then I'll see you in a minute
is me got my little bunnies in my hair to brush out the rest of the hair. I have a bun pin that's literally sticking into my skull somewhere. Is it this one? Nope. This is also a really fun game, but it was that one. It's a fun game you get to play when you're a dancer. What bun pin hurts? I also think this hairstyle could be really cute for festivals. So the next thing I take is this little star clip and I put it at the base of this bun. Make sure that the clippy clip bit is sticking into my head. And then I take this little diamante grip and I do the same on the other side just to add a little sparkle. And that is my hair. When I get to work, I will be adding some pink glitter down here and here. But this is the finished hair and makeup look as a dancer on a tour with Pippin. And I really, really like it. It's very Jojo Siwa. And now I'm just gonna show you the outfit I'm gonna wear today and then that'll be the end of today's video. So this is the outfit we're wearing to work today. It is just these mom jeans. I'm trying to show you the bottoms. These mom jeans, I have them rolled up in this cute little top from Pretty Little Thing. It's like a one shoulder. And this is the back, it just kind of swoops across. I love it, I love this outfit. So anyway, thank you so much guys for watching. I really hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, turn on that bell notification thing so you get notified every single time I upload a video. And I hope to see you in my next one. Love you all.